Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Telvostro 3591 or what you actually can upgrade on this laptop and of course you're gonna see a closer look on the components and obviously you're gonna see how you can open up this machine as well. You need a pretty standard Phillips screwdriver. I'm using the kind of a 57 in one. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you're interested. They're a great tool for other jobs as well. So it's gonna be very useful and they're cheap enough as well. Okay, remove all the screws uh, from the back panel. Some of them are different lengths. So do remember where you took them out. So you won't damage your laptop when you start uh, putting them back in. So they are different lengths, as I said before. Okay, once the screws are removed, you are ready to lift the back panel. I'm using a kind of a plastic tool like that there. If you don't have it, I do recommend using just even your fingers or something out of, made out of plastic. Don't recommend using metal at all. You will break your laptop. I kind of made a little mistake there. Actually, you're going to see it in a second now. Happened before, so nothing new there for me anyway. Do learn from my mistakes, not from your own. You'll see it now in a second. Okay, as you see, I left the one screw unscrewed there, so it's still there, so obviously back panel won't lift for me. There I am trying to kind of force it, but nothing is happening, so probably should have paid more attention when I was unscrewing them. There you go, that's the one there. Remove that and back panel should lift easy enough now. These mistakes happen not uh, perfect obviously I'm not perfect so if you are good for you actually very happy for you if you are there you go back panel lifted I'm just gonna show you the detail of the yeah Del Vostro 3591 and the inside of look of the panel as well just in case I don't know if you are looking for spare part or anything at all Okay, that's that's it. Good news here, obviously. Upgradable. Yay. Okay, we're gonna go through the components now. That's your battery. With the serial number as well. If you are looking for same thing, spare part, it's gonna be easier. Just type in this serial, this serial number and you should be there. Okay, that's your battery connection. That's your RAM slot 1. At the moment, there's 8 gigs installed in it. We will upgrade that later on, so it's going to be great. That's the second slot now. Actually, I'm not sure which one is first, which one is second, but there we go. That's the second one, 8 gigs as well. So at the moment, there are 16 gigs. That's your CPU under that heatsink there. It's Core i5 10th generation Intel CPU. That's your CPU fan. Okay, that's your Wi-Fi card there as well, going back a little bit. It's good, actually, good Wi-Fi card. Wi-Fi uh, slash uh, Bluetooth. And that's your 2.5-inch hard drive bay. At the moment, it's empty. I'm going to leave it empty, but you can install your own hard drive in it if you have solid-state drive or just normal hard drive for extra storage space. I don't recommend using uh, or installing uh, operating system on that. It's just going to be that much slower. And one more thing to show you there, that's a solid state drive now. Yep, that's the one. At the moment, there's 256 gigs installed. We will upgrade that to one terabyte as well. Just a minute. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a closer look now on components. So after that, we're gonna go and start upgrading this machine. There you go, that's your solid state drive. As I said, great news, it is upgradable, so pretty well actually upgradable surprise there's 2.5 inch uh, bay there great news if you're looking for extra storage with uh, it, they are a bit cheaper as well so not bad but as i said i'm gonna leave it empty so but it's up to you there's a ribbon there everything's good to go just put the drive in and you have extra storage and that's your wi-fi card closer look as well CPU fan, of course. Build quality is not the greatest one now. I had few laptops like that before and they have problem with hinges. 
that you break whatever I don't know so it's it's not the best quality now but still it's obviously it doesn't cost a lot either so you pay what you get for or you get what you pay for <laughs> okay we are ready to start doing a bit of upgrade here but yeah first thing we're gonna upgrade ram and before you start upgrading anything i do recommend disconnecting battery just for safety i suppose that you won't short anything on the motherboard while removing the ram or solid state drive i left it also i left it connected quite few times there in the past and no issues either but to just it's it's easier to be smart before you do it than after because if 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 you short the motherboard that's it like so i do recommend disconnecting it it it, it doesn't take you that long anyway okay remove the ram that's the stick number one, 8 gigs. And by the way, 16 gigs what's installed on it is pretty good as well. So if you don't need additional RAM, don't upgrade it. Because that will actually, 16 gigs will do easily now, even with Windows 11 and all that. So, And I'm going to put 16 by 2, so 32 gigs in total. That's 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM stick number one, 3200 hertz. And I'm going to leave the link in the description as well for them, so you can go go and purchase if you're looking for very same ones. You don't have to buy same ones. There's loads of other op options there, so just uh, if you want to make your life a little easier. There you go, that's your second stick installed. We are finished upgrading RAM. We're going to go and upgrade your our solid state drive now as well. And same thing, you don't have to upgrade unless you need more space because upgrading solid state drive means you will have to reinstall Windows and you know, if you have loads of files there, you have to obviously back them up and all that. So if you don't really need to, 256 gigs will do most cases like because the cloud storage now and all that. So unless you need it, do an upgrade. It's not very expensive upgrade either, as you see. It's a Samsung SSD 970 EVO Plus. Great drives, there are probably faster ones now out there. Not probably, but most likely, most definitely there is faster ones. But I'm using this one. So also I'm going to leave the link in the description for this. So if you are looking for same one, it's just going to be that much easier for you. And same thing, you just slide it in there and close that screw again. And that's it, we are pretty much done with upgrading. All is left to do now is close that solid state drive there. And in a few minutes, we're gonna boot into Windows and you're gonna see what's happening there as well. I'm gonna go over a few specs very briefly now. It's gonna, it's not gonna be one of these videos where I spend four, four five, ten minutes there explaining what this does and how much spec it has in total. Like, I'm just gonna go through device manager and few other specs there so you have a bit of overview and uh, obviously proof as well that 32 gigs works on this machine so there we go upgrading is done now you can just uh, connect that battery back again do don't forget that uh, it happened to me many many times before i closed the laptop and uh, left that opened so I have to open it, laptop again and close it then. So just don't get too excited there. Make sure everything is connected back up again and before you close the back panel. Just press it gently in. You can hear kind of a clips there and you can then just install the screws back in again. As I said, build quality, not the greatest, but for the price, there are good laptops now upgradable as well so that means if you take care of this laptop you'll get a good few years out of it with the upgrades and all that so okay upgrading done back panel closed we can put into windows now obviously for you it's not going to be as fast you will have to reinstall windows again as i did so we're going to go to uh, this PC, right click on it. I'm just going to show you a few little specs there. Okay, there we are. There's your Vostro 3591 Intel i5 10 generation CPU and of course 32 gigs of RAM as you see. 
works 100% no issues good fast loads of loads of ram space now i'm gonna go to device manager now as well and briefly go over a few specs there There's your disk drive, as, I, as you saw before, Samsung 970 Evo Plus, Intel Ultra HD graphics, CPU, of course, as mentioned before. That's it, pretty much, guys. Hopefully this was a helpful video now, and if you did find it helpful, press the thumbs up and uh, subscribe as well. You know what? Have the absolutely wonderful life. Bye-bye.